Welcome to the statue and figure review and unboxing. For today, I got a pretty awesome figure here from Amakuni. This is Hestia from the Damachi series, or is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon series? <laughs> uh, this is Hestia, and as you know, I've done a lot of Hestia reviews and unboxing so uh, we'll see how this one stands up with the rest so uh, we're gonna take a look at the box first and then the figure right after like I said this is from Amakuni uh, this is a hobby Japan exclusive so only certain sites carry them so if you need you know if you want the figure I got a few sites that you might be able to look up and they sh hopefully should still have them uh, but anyways uh, we got the front of the box here no window this is just pure box uh, we gotta look at the figure here and then the name Hestia, and then it is a 1 6 scale uh, painted figure. And then we'll go to the side here. And then on this side here, we get a look in the back of the figure. And then, of course, Amakuni and then Hestia there. In the back here, we get a look at the front, some more close ups of the figure, and then a cool little close up in the figure in the background there. And on the side here, uh, almost like the other side, uh, you get the side of the back, you get to look at the front there, and then of course, Hestia and I'm uh, Kuni again. So, I uh, will we'll be back with a look at the figure in a second. All right, so here's a look at the figure. We'll do a quick spin of it, of her real quick. The figure is about 10 inches tall, a little bit over 10 inches tall, and it, it is priced at about 10,420 yen. So, you're looking at about close to $100, $101. So pretty decent price but it's a pretty big figure so one six scale is i said in the box so she's kind of big <laughs> and she is also pvc as per usual uh, we're going to start from the base going up uh, the base is a simple base it's pretty cool that it does have the little emblem or her the emblem of the anime or the manga here on the bottom there you can see that there and then we're going to go up uh, her actually before that let's talk about her pegs on her feet that where she goes in uh, the, pretty much goes in this her left foot goes in or her right foot I should say goes into this kind of almost heel type uh, base there so the peg just goes clips right in and then the other one goes right there so pretty awesome stuff and then look at it she, her toes are pretty long so it looks a little bit weird but it's okay <laughs> uh, then we're gonna go up here as I said uh, Hestia and like the other ones, uh, the Hestia is pretty simple figure. She doesn't have much going on other than her stance and her regular clothes that you've seen the other ones I've been doing. That's pretty much it. I wish this was a little bit different. Uh, I think so far there's only one figure that has her sandals on, and uh, that one I did like a few like a few weeks ago, like a week ago or something like that. So this one's the barefoot as usual. Uh, Hestia and most of her figures are barefooted so uh, I would like to see that with her uh, then we'll go up here to her normal dress that she has uh, of course her stance is kind of a playful stance I guess with her hand kind of holding her hip there and then uh, her hand her right hand holding the ribbon that's around here and that's the only difference in this figure is the ribbon that's around here and uh, she's kind of holding it so i guess that's what i can really talk about <laughs> there's really nothing else uh other than pretty much the figure is still really well made so it uh, quality wise it's really good it's really good i do like the fact that you, like as the other figures you can see kind of like her stomach here and her belly button there uh, that's pretty cool uh pretty detailed there and then our hair kind of just swivels down like this and it does feel a little flimsy so you got to be careful with that you can kind of move it around so i would say be very careful with this figure because i feel like if you kind of mess around with the hair too much it could break uh, we go up here to her head i think she looks pretty uh pretty good for her face wise i think her face might be a little bit more uh wider than i thought it would be maybe it should be a little bit skinnier but uh as far as i remember her face uh looks kind of like that so we'll see we'll see how that works but uh pretty simple there uh, her eyes are like say you kind of move them around it depends on where you want her her eyes are pretty good so uh and then of course the ribbons on top of her head kind of just holds everything together like i said you gotta be careful with this because they do kind of move around so you want to see so yeah you kind of be a little bit careful with that but um this figure is like i said it's a very simple figure nothing really to too different about her is Hestia so I've done a whole bunch of Hestia figures and it's pretty much the same other than the stance and that's pretty much it so like I said playful stance with her feet going inwards uh, then her hand 
her left hand on her hip and then her right hand going up kind of with her uh, thumb is it thumb yeah thumb holding the ribbon so that's only the difference in this figure so anyways review wise i want to probably give this probably like i want to say an like eight or seven uh this is a very simple figure if the the coolest part about it is is a one six scale so it's a big figure uh the probably the biggest figure i've seen for hestia i think the one before that the uh, biggest one was probably a one seven scale or one eighth but this was a one six so it's good to see that we're getting bigger figures of her and that's cool uh Painting quality build is very good. Uh, the only reason why I said eight out of seven or eight out of 10 is probably because of the fact that it's uh, her, it's, it's a very plain figure. That's <laughs> nothing too much. It'd be cool to have a better base. Her base is kind of big, so you probably don't need a base that big. But uh, yeah, so it'd be cool to have a little cool base around here that gives her a more distant look than uh, just a regular base like that. So anyways, like I said, eight out of 10 is still very well quality uh, made figure. It's like I said, it's about a hundred bucks, but it is a pretty big figure for her. I know they're coming out with a one, uh, one half scale <laughs> figure and, and, and good luck with that. Cause I'm thinking that's in the thousands. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here. Hopefully you guys come back next time when I do some more statue and figure unbox and review. This is Omega Belmont. And I'll see everybody next time. Peace out.